Hello guys, my name is Bakangulipi and in this video I want to show you the file management of a Cinema 4D project or a 3D pipeline project because uh, most of the time we want to start projects we want to start projects but then you know it gets really crazy when it comes to managing files and I'm not gonna be working on Cinema 4D as you know, it will be on the finder or the folder for those ways and pieces. So I'm going to my desktop where I will set up my project and then I'm going to create a folder here where I say the name of the project is, let's say, um, iPhone 8. Maybe I'm animating or modeling iPhone 8. So I'm going to make that folder here labels and then go inside. This is where it's important because, you know, you need to know where your assets are, where your textures are and where your files are. From here, I'm just going to write brief because I've been working professionally and most of the time you'll get a brief document. This is where you put it so that people who work with you uh, when you share this file they know what they are doing and they know where to go to see more details and for the second one i'll add assets this is where i put my illustrator files photoshop files and indesign files and then i get to number two where i say after effect because most of the time i use after effects instead of or cinema 4d but then some project use both, so I'll just add Cinema 4D here. Yeah. And lastly, I'll add results or output. I like to call this results or output because this is where I'll be sharing my videos, my images from the render. And then in my results, I like to go here and add something else called archive because archive is where you put your old renders, the first renders, your initial renders to like, you know, when you go through your updated renders, then when you go to the, when you see your old renders and your new renders, you see the difference and maybe the client tells you, hey, I need the render you made like two months ago, where is it? Then it will be here on your archive. So, I'm gonna demonstrate how this works in Cinema 4D just in case. I'm just gonna go to save this. Uh, I'll rename my files, which is an important thing to, to rename your files. iPhone 8. I'm gonna come here and then go to my desktop where my folder is. And then iPhone 8, I'll go to Cinema 4D and then boom. And then I'll name this A001, knowing like which version on the process I'm on. And then here I'm gonna go to my render settings and then set my output to instead of Cinema 4D, I'm just gonna put it to results. And then it's Beauty 01. Um, a001 maybe i'm just gonna add a level definition description here iphone 8 beauty 001 so that i know for a i know that the 001 for this render it corresponds to the to the file of which i'm working on and now if i save this as you know maybe i have i'm putting the second mocker I'm gonna make it iPhone 02. Then I'm gonna come here as well on the render settings and make this 02 so that when it renders, I have corresponding. I know which render belongs to which uh, Cinema 4D file. Same thing with After Effects. Um, you rename your files, put it in the folder. And when I want to share this with a client or with a coworker, I'm just gonna go to my iPhone here and then, you know, compress this file and share as is or if it's all if you if your your thing is connected to the iCloud you can just share them 
share, share the link you know it's nice that way to have your files structure organized 